Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ash Freeman and today together we're going to be moving through just one of those full body flows which is going to feel really nice whether you've just woken up, whether you're needing a little bit of an energy boost throughout your day or you're winding down for a restful night's sleep. As always though, you are your best teacher so please take breaks or modify whenever you need. All you'll need is a nice safe and flat space for your mat so when you're ready let's get moving. Okay beautiful friends, we're going to get started today by making our way to the top of the mat and as we do we're going to begin by shaking out through the wrists and through the ankles just a really nice way to release any stagnant energy to shake off the old and make way for the new maybe our hips and our shoulders get involved maybe you let yourself feel a little bit silly here making those movements a little bit bigger and freer Ooh, let's just take one more moment here and then just releasing those hands down by your sides. Feet can be together or slightly apart. We're gonna take three rounds of cleansing breath where we inhale through the nose, lift the shoulders up to the ears, and then we exhale, sigh out through the mouth. <sighs> Let those arms hang heavy. When you're ready, closing down your eyes if that feels okay for you. And just feeling the energy drawing up from the earth through the soles of your feet, shooting out through the crown of your head. Let's begin. Inhale, lift those shoulders. Exhale, let it go. And twice more. Deep breath in. Exhale, release. Last round, full breath in. Exhale, letting everything go. And just gently floating your palms to heart center here. And maybe even feeling the thumbs on the sternum, the heartbeat in the chest. I'm just inviting you to take a moment to consider the fact that right now, in this moment, you've never been stronger, you've never been wiser, smarter or more resilient than you are right now. So no matter how you've turned up to your practice, no matter how you're feeling today, let's just take a moment to honor and dedicate this time on the mat to this person who you are today who's gone through and grown through so much to be here. Maybe even feeling a gentle smile spread across your face. Taking one full breath in. Let's just sigh that breath out. Gently fluttering open through the eyes as you inhale, draw tall, interlace your palms. Exhale, press the hands forward. We're gonna round through the tail and the shoulders. Let the chin fall down to the chest. Next in breath, we rise up, ground through the heels, lift up through the palms. Exhale, release those hands behind the back, interlacing through the fingertips. Inhale, straighten through your elbows, roll the shoulders open. Exhale, gently releasing the hands back to heart center. Let's take one more round. Deep breath in. Interlace and press forward, round through the spine. Inhale, arms rise, lift and lengthen. Exhale, releasing the hands behind the back. Inhale, roll the shoulders open, broaden the heart. Exhale, hands come back to heart center. This time we're going to inhale, shoot the fingertips up to the sky. Taking a little twist as we exhale, turn to the right, bring the arms to a cactus, opening out the chest to the right side. Inhale, fingertips reach tall again, come to centre. Exhale, we'll just come to the other side, opening out to the left. Once more, each side inhaling to lift. Exhale to open, twisting from the belly, the chest and the shoulders. Last time, inhale to lift. And exhale to release. Inhale, coming back through centre. Exhale, taking the hands down by the sides. Rolling the shoulders up and back. Let's find a flow. Inhale, arms rise, reaching through those fingertips. As you exhale, melting forward, finding Uttanasana or your forward fold. We're going to pause here for a moment. So keep your knees as bent as you need, maybe even taking hold of the opposite elbow as we just kind of work into the backs of the legs and the spine here. So just nice and gentle, melting down, let your head hang heavy. Take one more full breath in and then releasing those hands down to the mat. Inhale, finding a half lift, lengthen through the spine and the back of the neck. 
As you exhale, take the hands down. We're gonna step back to our high plank position. Pause here. Drawing tall, lifting away from the mat. We're gonna turn the heels to the right hand side and open just for a moment to Vashistasana or side plank. Lift the hips away from the mat. One deep breath in. Exhale, coming back to your high plank. And we come to the other side. Inhale, heels to the left. Right arm peels up and open. Exhale, back to high plank where we'll take one last breath in through the nose. The knees can come down or stay lifted as we come all the way down with control, chaturanga, and then release onto the belly. Pointing back through the toes, taking your hands to the outer edges of the mat, drawing the elbows back as we inhale, peel the chest up, gazing forward. Exhale, painting the belly back down piece by piece. And let's go twice more. Inhale to lift, gently opening into your body. Exhale, release. So only coming as high as what feels good for you. Last round, inhaling to lift. Exhale, release. Take your hands by your shoulders. Press back, find child's pose, hips to heels. And you might want to just sway or rock the hips a little from side to side here as we just found that beautiful rounding through the lower back, heart melting down. And then pausing in centre, pausing in stillness. Can we reach those fingertips a little further forward and then ground down into the palms, tuck the toes. Let's find our first downward facing dog. We're going to take a moment to pedal out here. So just bending one leg at a time or maybe finding any other movement that feels good for you. Maybe shifting the hips a little bit or the shoulders. And just taking your awareness as you move to your palms, the fingertips are spread, grounding evenly into the inner and outer edges of the hands. And let's just pause in stillness. Take a moment here. Keep your knees as bent as you need. On an inhale, we're gonna rise onto the toes. We're gonna to roll and round through the spine, shift forward to a high plank. As you exhale, the knees bend, we turn the tail up, press back to downward facing dog. Let's take two more, inhale onto the toes, round like a wave through the spine. Exhale, drop the knees, send the hips back and high. Last time, inhale, lift, rounding forward. Exhale, drop the knees, send the hips back. This time as we inhale, rise onto the toes, look forward. Take as many little steps as you need to make your way to the top of the mat, staying on the toes or bending the knees, releasing Uttanasana forward fold. Inhale to half lift. Exhale, let it go, release the upper body. Inhale, rising all the way up to standing, reaching tall. And as we exhale, we're gonna sit down to our chair pose, Utkatasana. Inhale to rise, ground through the heels, lift through those fingertips. Exhale, sitting back down. Oof, I've already worked up a sweat. It is super humid here. Inhale to lift. Last one, exhale to lower. Just taking one full breath into your belly. And then exhale, folding like a waterfall, forward release. Inhale to half lift. Exhaling, hands down, step back to your high plank. Knees down or lifted as we lower with control. Chaturanga, elbows pinning in. Inhale to your cobra or your upward facing dog. Exhale with the breath, floating back to downward facing dog, pausing here. Inhale, rise onto the toes. And exhale, lowering the heels, beautiful. Inhale, taking the right heel high. We're coming to three-legged dog. Keep that thigh facing down towards the mat. As you exhale, draw the right knee forward. We're going to step the foot through. Taking your back foot down to 45 degrees, coming to warrior one as we lift the arms, breathing the arms up and overhead. One full breath in here. And as you exhale, release the hands behind the back, interlacing the palms again here. As we straighten through the elbows, lift through the heart. Moving to humble warrior, we bow forward. Let the head hang, take the gaze towards your back foot. Now keep that beautiful lunge of the front leg but that connection down into the back foot. One more full breath in. And as you exhale, lift from the back of the heart all the way up. We're gonna open out to the long edge of our mat, 
turn the heels in and just take the hands down on top of the thighs, just opening out through those hips, through the groin. You might want to find a gentle rock from side to side. Just feeling into your hips, your body, whatever feels good for you here. And then settling in centre. As we inhale, can we grow tall? As you exhale, dropping the right shoulder forward, straightening the right elbow, maybe taking the gaze back over the left. And inhale, back through center. Exhale, drop the left shoulder forward. Oh, feels so nice. Inhale, back through center. This time, sweeping the arms overhead, straightening through your legs, turning the heels out so the outer edges of the feet are parallel with the short edge of your mat. And as you exhale, the heart leaves as we fold forward, taking your hands down to your ankles or down to the mat. Inhale to find a half lift, lengthen the spine. And then exhale, settling in here for a few breaths. And again, your knees can be as bent as you need here. The wider your legs, the more comfortable this position might feel for you. And just notice if your weight is shifting back into the heels, can we just bring the hips forward a little bit? Let's just take one more deep breath in. And then taking the hands down to the mat if they aren't already. We're going to pivot towards the top of the mat and come to our low lunge with the right leg forward. Take the back knee down, untuck the toes. As we inhale, coming to Kali Mudra. So interlacing the palms, releasing the pointer finger, crossing at the thumbs. Settling here, feeling that beautiful opening through the front of the left hip. But we're active through the legs. So feeling the glutes engage, the heart lift away from the hips, maybe even taking your gaze high here. Just taking one more full breath in. And as you exhale, taking the hands down to the mat, we're going to send the hips back, find a hamstring stretch here. So you can keep this right knee as bent as you need, drawing the toes back, lengthening through the spine. One more deep breath in. As you exhale, coming back forward onto that front foot, we're going to tuck the toes, extend back through the heel and come to our arrowhead position. So deep lunge forward. Our body is on that 45 degree angle, shooting energy back through our fingertips and forward through the crown of your head. One more deep breath in. As you exhale, transferring weight forward, if we can, floating that left knee in towards the chest, finding a balance, softening the shoulders. We're going to open the knee out to the side and come to a tree pose here. So either bringing the left foot to the inner thigh, to the shin, or down to the ankle, choosing a variation that feels best for you today. Bringing your hands to heart center and evening out through the hips. Now tuning into how you're feeling today, expressing your arms in whichever way, maybe your tree is moving, maybe your tree is in stillness. Drawing up through the supporting leg, take one more full breath in. Exhale, releasing the left foot down to the mat, shake it out, take your hands by your sides. Roll the shoulders up and back, maybe shaking out any other energy that you need to here. And then let's come to our flow again. So inhale, arms rise. Exhale, melt forward, release. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands come down, step or jump back, lower with control, chaturanga. Inhale to cobra or upward dog. Exhale, floating with the breath to downward facing dog, pausing here. Let's just once rise up onto the toes, inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Let's take the left heel high, three-legged dog, inhale, lift the left leg high. Even weight pouring down into both hands. And as you exhale, draw the left foot forward, take your back foot down to 45 degrees, and then floating your arms up and overhead, warrior one. One more full breath in here. Exhale, release the hands behind the back, interlacing through the palms, straighten through the elbows if you can, and then bowing forward, bowing inward to our humble warrior. Let your head hang. Deep lunge forward, connection to the back foot. One more full breath in. 
And as you exhale, lifting all the way back up, we're going to turn again to the long edge of our mat. I'm just going to turn to face you here now. So as you inhale, take the arms up and overhead. As we exhale, coming down to our goddess pose, strong and resilient here. Twice more, inhaling to lift. Exhaling to lower. Last one, inhale to rise. Exhale to lower, we'll pause and hold just for a moment. If you'd like a little challenge, maybe taking the heels up off of the mat. One more deep breath in, maybe even finding a smile here. And then release those heels, straighten through the legs, turn the feet out, diving forward to your wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, coming up onto those fingertips, we're going to find a beautiful little twist here. So peeling with a straight spine, the right fingertips up towards the sky. Maybe you find a little half bind by bending the elbow and taking the top of the hand to the hip. One more full breath in. Exhale, release. Let's just come to the other side. Inhale, peeling left fingertips up. Option to stay here or find that bind. One more deep breath in. And exhale, release. Inhale, half lift once more. Exhale, folding forward, pause here. Options with your hands. We can reach back through the legs. We can interlace the palms behind the back. It's choosing a variation that feels good for you. We'll just take one more full breath in. Exhale, releasing the hands, this time walking forward to come into our low lunge over the left leg. Untuck your toes, coming into Kali Mudra again as we lift tall. This is such a beautiful, strong pose here, the heart opening to the sky. And letting your breath flow to and through any sensation that you're feeling in your body right now. One more full breath in. Exhale, hands come to the mat. Send the hips back. Draw the toes back towards you. Pausing here. Again, your knee can be as bent as you need. Deep breath in. Exhale, coming forward, tuck those back toes, extend through the heel as we lift up to our arrowhead. Strong like an arrow, knowing exactly which direction you're moving in today. One more breath. Transferring that weight forward as we try and catch our right knee in towards our chest, just for a moment, growing tall. And then opening that knee out to the side, finding tree pose, any which variation feels good for you. Just making sure we don't have that foot directly on the knee at all. It's either on the thigh, the calf or the ankle. I love to take my hands into reverse prayer here for a beautiful heart opening as well. Again, you can find movement with the arms, any shape that feels good for you. Strong tall and centered. One more deep breath in. Exhale, releasing that right foot down. Take your feet a little bit wider than your hips now. Inhale, arms rise. And then just exhale, coming all the way down into Malasana or your yogi squat. So you might want to stay up a little bit higher here or release all the way down. We can take a little bit of a side to side action just to continue opening into those ankles. This is a really beautiful pose for all of your joints. And then settling in center with the elbows inside the knees, can we lift the heart up to the thumbs? Hips melting down, crown of the head lifting. One more full breath in. And then seeing if you can gracefully, either using your hands to help you or not, Sit the hips back down onto the mat. Awesome. And let's come to Navasana. So coming to the center of your mat, draw the inner thighs together. We can take hold behind the legs or reach the hands out long. You might even extend through those toes. Again, maybe finding that smile. <laughs> One more deep breath in. And as you exhale, landing down with the right leg straight, the left knee is bent, sole of the foot down onto the mat.
As we take our left hand behind, we inhale the right arm up nice and tall. And then exhale, hugging in that thigh or taking the elbow to the outer edge. Continue drawing the right toes back. Can we think of inhaling to lengthen and exhaling to twist a little deeper? One more breath here. And then exhale, release the chest back to center, taking this left knee out, sole of the foot to the inner edge of your right thigh. Draw the toes back again. You might want to sit up onto a blanket, a pillow or a block here. Otherwise, inhale, lift through the fingertips, turn the chest over the right thigh. And then exhale, we just melt the hands down slowly, 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 really gentle with our hamstrings here. Coming to any place that feels good in your body. Nothing is forced or pulling. Really just allow yourself somewhere that the breath can flow naturally and smoothly. Your breath will tell you if you've gone too far. Hmm. Taking one more deep breath in. And then exhale, gently flowing back up. We're going to come back to Navasana, floating those legs up off the mat. This time we're going to take a few little side to side actions. So hands come to the right, to the left. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and hold in the middle, lifting up. Ooh, this time we land with the left leg extended long, right foot down on the mat. Taking your right hand behind, inhale, left arm reaches tall. Exhale, hugging in that thigh or taking the elbow to the outer edge of the knee, gazes back over the right shoulder. Draw your left toes back. Inhale, we grow a little taller. Exhale, maybe deepening the twist. One more full breath in. And then exhale, release the gaze back to the front of the mat. Let your right knee drop out, foot to the inner thigh. Inhale, reach those fingertips tall, turn the shoulders over that left thigh. And exhale, melt down. We can stay up nice and high if that feels better for you today. And breathe. Just starting to Allow the breath to settle back to its natural rhythm now. One more deep breath in. And out. Inhale, peeling back up. Let's come back to our boat pose one last time. Option to stay here or we reach those toes out. We roll back around through the spine. And inhale, snap back up. Twice more, extending on the exhale. Inhale to lift. Last one, extend out and hold. And release. Ah, beautiful. Let's just draw the knees into the chest. Find a gentle rock from side to side. And then just let those knees fall over to the left, bringing your top hand on top of the right leg. Your gaze can fall wherever feels comfortable for you. coming back through center just taking those knees to the other side and that buzzing sound that you can hear that you might be able to hear in the background is cicadas I know we're all from different parts of the world so I'm wondering if you all have cicadas in your country let me know <laughs> One more full breath in. And then exhale, just floating those knees back to center, taking the feet down to the mat. From here, keeping your knees directly up towards the sky. We're gonna ground down through the heels, feet are about hip distance apart. Inhale, lift up through the hips, maybe taking the arms to float overhead. 
Exhale, melting back down through the spine, releasing the hands back by the sides. Let's go for three more. Inhale, ground through the heels, lift the hips, arms overhead. Exhale, let it go. Two more, just traveling at your own speed, at your own rhythm. Slowing it down, last one. Beautiful. From here, when you're ready, taking your legs out long. We're going to bring the chin to the chest, come up onto the forearms, point through your toes. We're going to spread through the fingertips, press the heart up, let the head hang back. Releasing here. Feel a sense of the heart, the shoulders, just melting open. Maybe feeling as if there's a smile coming across your heart space here. Ground into those forearms, one more full breath in. Exhale, slowly, slowly releasing yourself back onto the mat. Just inviting you to take a moment here. Notice if there's any last movement that would feel good for your body. Otherwise, just taking the heels out wide, the arms out wide, closing down the eyes for a moment. Maybe taking one more releasing breath, one more cleansing breath, inhaling through the nose. And sighing, let it go. I'm just feeling a sense of the body being completely held in space, the earth rising up to meet you and hold you steady so that we can really surrender and let go. Feel a softening of the breath. And a softening of your heart. And again, coming back to the knowing that you have never been stronger, wiser, smarter or more resilient than you are right now. So sending yourself a little bit of love and gratitude and forgiveness and kindness. Knowing that you've grown and gone through so much, you've come so far. Sending yourself a little bit of acknowledgement and love here. Let's just take another breath or two. And just taking one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart space. Perhaps one last time feeling a smile spread across your lips and across your heart. And inviting you to stay here for as long as you can, for as long as you have. And sending my deepest gratitude to the lineage of yoga, to all of the teachers, practitioners who have come before me, who have come before us, and who have shared the healing and the wisdom of yoga and allowed us to be here together. Mm. 
thank you so much again for joining me. Thank you for taking this time for yourself, most importantly. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected. I'll see you soon.